What's up y'all? So I got my Sephora order in and I ordered some things that I was excited to try that I'd purchased because I was influenced by another YouTuber. It was someone else that had talked about it on their channel, liked it, loved it. They wanted some more of it. The 90s country child in me just loved that. Like country music, not, okay, anyway. <laughs> my mind is everywhere. I've had too much coffee and not enough coffee somehow. So I figured I would try them on camera with y'all instead of just trying them alone by myself in my bathroom. So here we are. <laughs> so the first thing, we're gonna dive right in. This, that was like the shortest intro ever. I wanted to try it with something Andrea Renee mentioned she really likes. It's the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I'm pretty sure this is a new launch from Laneige, at least like within the past year. The packaging is gorgeous. It's like a really nice glass bottle. It's my favorite shade of pink. I'm wearing a lot of pink today, I'm realizing. <laughs> but it retails for $32 and it has like four and a half stars and 437 reviews on Sephora. So it says it's a lightweight hydrating serum that keeps oil in check for visibly smoother skin and longer lasting makeup wear. I feel like when I hear the terms like glowy and serum together, I would not think of it as something that's actually gonna make your ma makeup last longer and that's gonna keep oils at bay. So I feel like the title and the description are complete like they're in opposition with each other. But I wanted to give it a try nonetheless because I love glowy type serums. And if I'm gonna take the time to put on a primer, this is what I'm gonna do. And I feel like Andrea's skin always looks so nice. Dropper is not great, but no discernible smell. Let's just kind of press it into the skin and then we'll wipe it a little bit. It doesn't feel crazy oily. It's kind of lightweight and thin, kind of reminiscent of the Wander Beauty glow glow ahead oil that i talked about in my dupes video if you saw that i can link it below reminds me of that which in turn reminds me of its dupe which was the a revlon primer so i have a feeling that revlon primer i can link it below is awfully similar to this if you didn't want to spend the 32 dollars. it doesn't feel super tacky or anything my skin definitely looks a little moisturized and it does feel a little smoother like it kind of feels like it filled in my pores a little bit which is really really nice so Curious to see how this helps with like how foundation will sit on my nose, you know? Cause I feel like it can be hard to find a primer that will both add glow to your skin, but also fill in your pores and prolong the makeup wear time. So if this really does all of that, then this is gonna be like an amazing product. Okay, I bought a really expensive foundation and it was because Taylor Wynn was saying it's just one of her absolute favorites. And if you know Taylor Wynn, she is like the foundation guru like she knows foundation she's tried it all so i was intrigued it is the guerlain l'essential natural glow foundation so 16 hour wear it's got spf of 20. so i got the shade 01c we're gonna see if this works i mean i was basing it you know trying to buy a foundation online is like comically hard you know even with their foundation matching things, I never feel like that's perfect. I also like that there's an expiration date on that, September of 2021. So see, that tells me if you're gonna spend the money on this, like I spent the money on this, I need to be using the crap out of this over the next like 10 or 11 months, over the next year, because it's gonna go bad. So it's got a nice pump. The bottle is so pretty, like it kind of sits off kilter and it's just it's just cute and it's different she said this made her skin look amazing again i'm not sure that this is a good shade match i'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheek and blend it in with my uh shop miss a sponge that i love so with and without you i mean it definitely covered some i don't think this is meant to be like a high coverage foundation in fact let's kind of see it says a long wearing award-winning liquid foundation with 97 percent naturally derived ingredients with buildable coverage and a natural glow finish uh i am very very intrigued because that sounds right at my alley so before i put it anywhere else i want to see let's just focus in on this cheek i want to see if i can build the coverage up like it says you can Looks really nice, y'all. <laughs> I'm glad that it does. I mean, I spent this money. I would like to like the product. It just looks so glowy and pretty, and this shade might be perfect. We'll see once I get it all on. I thought for sure it wouldn't be a good match. I do think it built up a little bit more. Again, I don't think this is supposed to be like a full coverage foundation at all. Got a breakout to cover there, so we'll see if it covers that. Okay, the redness from it, you know? You guys seen those like maps of, I don't think there, I don't know that there's actually any science or truth to it, but it's always interesting to me, the maps of the face where it'll show like, all right, if you're breaking out here, it's hormonal. And if you break out here, it's because you've drank too much wine. If you break out here, it's because, you know, it's just stress breakout, and but it's always interesting to see. I'm like, well, what does it mean if I break out right there? I'm thinking maybe it's a bronzer I'm using. 
So I just, it definitely covered a little bit of that redness. It's not totally gone, but most foundations I would use wouldn't cover that, but I'm liking it so far. Let's go ahead and finish up the face. I'm in natural light for the most part, but I wanna try it with a different camera and see what it looks like. Let me show you. So I don't think it's a great shade match for me. You can see it's way too yellow compared to my actual skin tone. So I think if I do end up really loving the way it looks, I think I'm gonna exchange it for the right color because obviously that's way too much money to just let rot in a drawer, you know? But it covered everything I wanted covered. I feel like my skin looks very healthy. Like, oh my gosh, it has a slight smell and not enough that it's like so overwhelmingly bad. Like the La Mer foundation, that was the most I've ever spent on a foundation, never again. That smell like made me sick to my stomach. This one is not that bad, but it's definitely there. So I think if you're sensitive to that, this might not be the one for you, but it looks really, really nice. I mean so another thing I wanted to try is something that Emily Noel recommended. She seems to really like these Bare Minerals little palettes. I know she's got a few of them. She's got like the copper one, I think maybe one or two others, but she also has this neutral one she says she likes. And so listen, tiny palettes like this are right up my alley. I do very simple eye looks. It's just what I prefer on my own eyes. Also, I'm not a makeup artist. This is not like an artistry channel. <laughs> because I would be very bad at that. I'm a big fan of small palettes because if it's a palette of colors that are useful to me where I'm using all of it, I love that. And so this one really spoke to me out of all of them. It's a little bit cooler tone. I feel like this lighting is making it look cooler than it really is though because some of this does pull a little warm. So I just kind of want to swatch them first. It's got a couple of shimmers. They're really, really soft. Not so soft that they're kicking up a bunch of powder, but like maybe I should say they're thin. It's like a thin formula, which I've learned over the years that I kind of like because they tend to blend really easily. Four matte shades, two shimmers. I'm gonna take this shade Tribe and just kind of pat it on my lid here. I was giggling because our neighbor, I mean, he's like our friend, our neighbor, he is uh, doing a project and he's literally <laughs> right outside our window, you know, cutting wood or whatever he's doing. You can't really hear it. You probably can't even hear it, but it made me giggle because I had the window open earlier and it was, well, like while I was editing and stuff and it was just making me laugh because I'm like, I'm at, I'm filming a video today and of course this is the day he needs to do it. And uh, Tyler was recording voiceovers in his office and I'm like, of course he's doing this on the day that like it actually kind of needs to be quiet, but I don't even think you can hear it, can you? Okay, so this is blending really easily into the crease. Like I had nothing on this brush. I'm just using the brush to kind of pull that color up to make it look a little more seamless and it did it perfectly. That was so easy. I'm gonna grab this sandstone color and kind of blend it into the crease. The one thing I have a feeling I'm gonna miss with this is having more of like a lighter shimmer shade. I love tapping it on the center of my lid. I just feel like it kind of finishes off the look for me. Even on days where I'm in a rush, I'll still do that. And uh, yeah, so that's the only thing I feel like this might be missing. Let me try this other shimmer. Let me just try tapping it on. Oh, that worked. That added the shimmer I wanted, so there we go. I take back what I said. I'm just gonna tap this all over. It's such a pretty shade. So I'm gonna get a slightly smaller brush and get maybe this native shade. Not noticing a ton of like fallout or anything like that from the shadows, which is always nice. This definitely now intrigues me to try maybe one of the other ones, but I also know like I don't really need it, but this I'm enjoying. The only shade I might not get as much use out of is this dark brown, but I do like having a dark shade because for me, sometimes I just like using an eyeshadow as like a little liner, and this would be perfect for that. And I just feel like it all blended seamlessly together. So the next thing I wanted to try is one that Julia Adams loves and uses a lot on her channel. She, I feel like she likes a lot from this brand, but this is the Tower 28 Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm, and it's in the shade Magic Hour. This is $20, and I was saying in another video, I feel like Tower 28 is one of the lesser expensive brands than a lot of the other ones that are sold at Sephora, you know what I mean? So, and this seems to be the shade that everyone seems to really like if you're closer to my skin tone. It looks like a really pretty kind of peachy pink shade, which is totally up my alley. So I'm just gonna use a stipple brush and try stippling it on. Okay, so we might need to wipe a little bit of this off. And I have heard, okay, now we need to blend. It's too much. Okay, a little bit goes a long way. I've heard that this, like the staying power of this is really good too, considering it's a cream, it still stays really well. So let me try this next one. I wanna try it with my finger. Because if you're in a hurry, it's nice to be able to not even need another tool for it. You know what I mean? 
yeah, that blends in so easily. I love that it's kind of got this like glow to it and it's not like a shimmery glow, it's like a dewy glow. Do you see that? That is really pretty. I think I went a little heavy on this side versus that. So finger might be the move or maybe just tap it on and then use a stipple brush to actually like blend it in. But I think going straight in with the stipple brush to the face might be a little much unless you wipe, wipe some of it off. But the shade is really nice. This looks really pretty. I feel like Julia Adams is like the queen of like the glowy bronzy goddess looks and she just has like the most big beautiful eyes ever too. So the reason I brought this is because of Samantha March and actually it was because she was doing her highlighter declutter and I've been watching her whole declutter series. I love it. And so that's where I first heard of it. I actually am not totally certain if she like loves or hates this. I think she kind of felt neutral about it, but it's one of those things that I love so much from Char Charlotte Tilbury. I was just so wanting to try it. It's a huge pan, just like her huge bronzers that she sells. And so it's only one shade. It's the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. I haven't even swatched this bad boy. It looks a little dark, but no. Okay, so once you blend it in, it's not too dark, but it's not, I don't know. I think if you're super fair, this might be too dark for you, but let's give it a try. This pan, I'm never gonna use this up. I mean, it looks like a highlighter. The one nice thing is because this isn't too light on me, I feel like it kind of blends in with my skin a little bit better in that it doesn't end up looking like a very, very ivory stripe on my skin. You know what I mean? I feel like it, it's definitely there, but it can kind of blend in a little bit better with the rest of my face. And that I do appreciate. So that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping for highlighters. Sometimes something that's really, really light compared to your skin tone might not be ideal because it might look a little more obvious, I guess. One thing I did notice about this packaging is that a lot of her other packaging, including the bronzer one, shows fingerprints really easily. This one is more of like a different type of plastic, kind of like matted. And so it's not, it's not showing the fingerprints as easily, which I kind of like. <laughs> All right, we have some lip things I wanted to try. This is one that I saw Allie Glines using. It's from Bobbi Brown. I've never tried any of these. It's their art sticks. So it's $29. It's much bigger than I envisioned. When you look at it online, I thought it'd be really small and it actually comes with a little sharpener, which I think is nice because it is a very specific shape. And if you don't have a sharpener to sharpen it, eventually you won't be able to use it because it is actually a wooden pencil. So I have the shade Bare. It looks like these are all meant to be for the lips. It says it's a two-in-one color in an on-the-go package that delivers a punch of color to lips. Lipstick meets liner. This chunky pencil glides on effortlessly for a creamy matte finish. The perfect blend of emollients and shea butter creates a rich, creamy texture. I wanted to give this a try. It looked really pretty on her. Let's kind of line it. Oh, this color is like a year lips but better color for me. It, feel, it does feel comfortable. If you've got super lined lips, you're still gonna see the lines. You know, some lipsticks accentuate it a little bit more than others. This is one that you can definitely see all your lines in your lips, but it doesn't look that bad and it really is comfortable. I think it's actually a little deeper than I would have guessed. It's a little bit more brownie than I think I thought it would be, but it is pretty. So we'll see, I'm definitely gonna keep using this. I feel like this would be nice. The only downside would be, you know, if you wanted to be able to use it to line your lips as well, you'd have to keep it sharp. And if you were trying to keep it on the go, you'd have to have the sharpener with you too. You know what I mean? So that's kind of a, just one of those things. I'm kind of surprised they didn't like build it into like the lid or something like that. But I'm intrigued. I've never tried this. It reminds me of the NARS lip pencils that are like not nearly as thick as this, probably half the circumference but it's kind of the same thing where it's really creamy and so you can use it as your lipstick, but then you can also line with it. I might like the NARS formula a little bit better, but again, this is so new to me, I wanna keep using it. Next is a Jamie Page favorite. She really seems to like these Tower 28 lip glosses. It's their Shine On Lip Jellies, and I got the shade Coconut. Very slight, kind of sweet smell. Actually, kind of smells like coconuts, but now I think I'm just in my head about it because it's called coconut. I don't know how well this is gonna pair with this lip, lippy, but I just wanted to try both of them. But she was just saying how like comfy these are. Ooh, whoa, these glide on. Like it's like thin. Oh my gosh, it like melts in. Very melty in a comfortable way. It's not sticky. There's not a single smidge of stickiness to this. And you know what? It, it got rid of the lines on my lips. This, is one of the prettiest glosses I've ever seen. It really got rid of so many of the lines on my lips. The reason I've always loved the Buxom ones is because when they do their little plumping thing, 
it makes my lips look less lined. But this, without even needing that plumpiness, is making my lips look so much more youthful. What the heck, why aren't more people talking about this? This is just stunning, comfortable, beautiful. Holy moly, holy moly. So that's everything, that was fun. So kind of going back through everything, I mean, I, nothing I tried was a dud. The shade of the Guerlain I do need to mess with and see if maybe there would be a better shade match online. I think the things I'm the most excited about are the Tower 28 blush, the neutral eyeshadow palette, and this lip gloss, and the Guerlain foundation too, but again, I just need to mess with the shade. The things I'm excited to try more because I just don't really know yet how I feel would be the Glowy Makeup Serum. I enjoyed putting it on. It looks nice. I feel like my skin looks healthy with it on. The Bobbi Brown Lippy and then the highlighter. Again, the highlighter is beautiful. I just want to mess with it some more. Thank you to my YouTube friends that like, man, you guys never steer me wrong. Like, these are some of my absolute favorite YouTubers. There are plenty of other YouTubers I love that just in this video, I didn't have a favorite of theirs to try. If you enjoy this style of video, I would love to do these a few times a year. I have done them in the past. I can link my most recent kind of YouTubers made me buy it type video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what some of your favorites that you've tried from other YouTubers. Who was the YouTuber that recommended it to you? What do you think of the product? I also would love if you subscribe to catch more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.